These cards are insane. Altma is wiping away every bad rap it got during the Giro when it was relying on the Brave mechanic. Because these new reveals are nuts! Hey Carfighters, welcome back to a very exciting brand new episode of Carfight Update and today we've got some big, big reveals. As Bushrod finally revealed the big batch of new cards for the upcoming extra booster set the next stage and they started with Royal Paladin and they revealed the new Alt Mal VR and oh my god, this thing is nuts. And I'm happy that they started with Alt Mal because that means we're going to get Asha and Chronojet back to back. But if these reveals are setting a precedent for what this set is going to give us, oh my god, I am excited for next stage because these cards are insane. But enough about me saying the cards are insane, let me show you what I mean with that and why am I very excited even though I'm not a Royal Patent player as these cards are pretty damn good. But we're not going to start with the cards we got for the reveal stream. As during this reveal stream, we got two cards for Royal Paladin. However, we got one card before that during the card of the day reveal. That was the main grade one of the trial deck for Altmal. And that's the card that we're going to start with. As that is going to set the pace for the upcoming cards. As the grade 1 from the trial deck is of course Lunar Crescent Knight Phalax. The old grade 1 8k vanilla. And this card has the following skill. Auto and Vanguard and Rigor Circle. When it attacks or boosts, cost Soulless 1 and return a rear guard in another column to your hand. And this unit gets power plus 5k until the end of the battle. So this card allows you to put up a early aggression. Because you can write this thing, call another card to the field and then attack with both of them. And of course end with the Vanguard attack and bounce the card back to hand. And you give the Vanguard an additional power so it becomes 13k. And if that is boosted, it means it will hit over defensive trigger. But what's also awesome about this effect is that you can put up early pressure. But still retain cards in hand as you can bounce them back and still use them for guard value. Even though you just applied some pressure. And this is something you, we usually saw with old great nature that retires and draws. Or the very old Bermuda that bounces with their own effect. Now we see it in Altmal for Royal Paladin, and this is pretty damn solid as it gives them a good early aggression. But it can also use mid to late game, as there was an issue with the Altmal Grade 3, as you at the same time want to call to the Rigged Circle, as it can be a very strong beater, but you don't want to call them because you want to keep rewriting to gain more markers. With this card, you can do both, because you now can call the Altmal to the Rigged Circle, have a very solid 28k column, and with a potential boost it can even be higher, and then bounce it back and then call ride it for the next turn. So Felix opens up a lot of potential and a lot of plays. But it will all synergize with the rest of the cards that we're going to get. Now that we know about the latest cards of the trial deck was revealed. Let's jump into the big guns and the big cards reveals that we got during the live stream. As we have the main grade 2, the triple R of the set. And that is of course an old familiar face. Counter offensive knight Suleiman. And Suleiman's abilities are pretty good as his first abilities, other than Vanguard Circle, when placed, look at the seven cards from the top of your deck, call to one card with Altman's card name to the Vanguard Circle, and shuffle your deck. So this gives us a potential free plus. And what's great about this is, is that the trial deck Altman has a Vanguard skill that can potentially activate. If you happen to use all your counter blasts. And that is probably very likely in the early game. So you can have a very strong beater for free. But you usually would say that's not ideal. As you want to actually have your great freeze in hand. So you can write the following turn. However we have Felix, the great one that can help us to bounce it back to hand. But we aren't necessarily reliant on this card. Because Suleiman got us covered with his second ability. As that auto on Vanguard Circle and Rear Circle. When it attacks... Cause Soldiers 1, return a rearguard in another column to your hand and this unit gets power plus 5k until the end of the battle. It's the exact same skill as Phalax, which means you can get a free plus of the Altmal, you can attack with it, that can potentially be a 28k beater on your second turn, and then bounce it back and you can ride it the following turn so you can fix your right target. That's insane! And it has the same early game pressure that we have with Phalax, but now with Suleiman as the grade 2 turn, as we again can call multiple cards to the field and then bounce them back to hand while still at the same time apply pressure but also attain shield value in our hand. 
This is insanely strong and this allows Royal Paladin to have a very aggressive early game but at the same time fix their right chain. But you can say, well, you could miss your Altmau if it's in the top 7. But don't forget, the new VR is also an Altmau. So we're not running 4 Altmau cards, we're running 8. And with 8, it's very likely you're gonna hit one of the two in the top 7 cards. Of course, you rather want to hit the Trial Deck one because that has a rearguard skill, because spoiler, the new VR doesn't. But you don't mind either way because it's still in the early game, you get some free pressure and you can bounce it back to fix as a right target. And either of those two are perfectly fine right targets because as we're going to see in a second, the new Altmau is pretty damn good. So let's look at that as we have the brand new VR Altmau, Aerial Divine Knight Altmau. And before we go into the skill, yes, it is a great 3, it's not a great 4. But it is something else that I suspected. It has the Altmau in Soul Cloth. So it has this somewhat cross ride, pseudo stride esque interaction that we had with the old GR counterpart. But this is a little bit more generic, which makes it pretty damn good. Because its skills are continuous on Vanguard Circle. If you have no face up card in your damage zone, all of your grade 2 units get power plus 10k and shield plus 5. And if your soul has a card with Altmau in its card name, those units get critical plus one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this card turns all your grade twos into 20k units with 10k shield as an interceptor. And they can potentially have a critical extra. So they come in with two crits. And if we run force two, that can be potential of three crits. Because unlike Coral... The, this card doesn't change them to natural 2 crits, it just adds the critical, so it combines and synergizes with force 2. So this is a lot of value, but let me remind you, we have a card called Starlight Violinist, and that card allows us to give all our grade 2s boost and intercept from the back row. So if you combine those two cards together, you can create very easily 40k columns that can both intercept for 10k shield, so that's 20k shield per column, 40k power per column, they swing in with two crits, no problem, and it doesn't cost you anything. Sure, you need to have all your counterblast face down, but that's no actual problem for Altmal, as we have seen with all the other support cards. And that is some insane value, but it doesn't stop there, because Altmal has a second ability, and that fixes everything. Because you can say, well, you're dependent on Starlight Violinist. How are you going to get to it? Well, however you want. Because Altmau's second ability is Act on Vanguard Circle once per turn. Cost Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Call up to one grade 2 from each from your deck and drop zone to the Vanguard Circle and shuffle your deck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Because now we can just... Fetch whatever cards we need, wherever they are. Your drop zone, fine, we can fetch it back. In your deck, well, we can search them out. You will call, one of the two is going to be finalist, and the other one is whatever you want. And you don't have to worry about the drop zone aspect, because you can just soul bless the grade 2 you just ridden previous turn, and you're done. And that is pretty insane, the amount of value you're going to get for free, and the amount of pressure you're going to apply against your opponent. And you can follow this up by rewriting himself to get all your units crits, but you can also go into the trial deck to Altmau first and then follow up with this card to dish out the finishing blow. Either way, it's pretty damn nuts the amount of value you're going to get. But it doesn't stop there because this card is generic. You don't have to run the, old, the trial deck Altmau. You can just splash this in, in any other build and you're fine to go. But the fact that it can search out any card from a deck and a drop zone allows you to run wacky combinations of cards because the thing that i've thought about oh if i get a lot of power you could just run blaster blade with of course gordon and it can already boost but you don't mind for that but that column can generate a high number but to run them is a little bit awkward now you can just run one or two gordons and one or two blaster blades and no matter if they are retired or in the deck you can just fetch them out no props so you can run a lot of interesting tech cards with grade twos and this is probably the birth of what I've been saying a long time now, but now I'm very, very certain it's gonna be a thing. The 21 grade 2 Altmau build. It's definitely gonna be a thing and it's gonna be glorious. But 
There are so many more things you can do because we have Suleiman and Felix that can bounce cards for Sol. This allows us to do something interesting because we have cards like Pungal and Funigal and we can call them in the early game, use their abilities to soul charge a lot of cards and we can bounce them back to hand with of course Felix and Slaymon to reuse the soul that we just got. And it allows us to retain shield value but at the same time apply some pressure as they get more higher numbers which is pretty good. But the interesting part about using Pungal and Funigal is that you get random blindly soul charges. And if you happen to hit one of the alt miles and it goes into your soul, that means you can activate Aerial Divine Knight alt miles complete full continuous skill on your first great free turn as you already have an alt mile in your soul. That is a thing that can be actually be done. So there is a lot of interesting things that alt mile now brings to the table that wasn't actually possible because Funigal a card from Unite Team Q4, a complete trash card, is now actually useful. There is actually a reason to play it, because it puts your Counter Blast face down, it generates soul, which then allows you to activate your other skills, and it gives a bit power. And you can use it in the early game, which then fuel your early aggro plays, and it can potentially go into a very early full power alt mile. That's got my seal of approval right there. <laughs> so yeah, there are a lot of insane things that you can come up with this card for Altmal. And these are just the first reveals. And there are still many more cards for Royal Paladin that has to be revealed. But at the same time, we still have to see the things for Neonectar, for Asha. And of course, my boy, Chronojet with Next Stage. This is going to be nuts if it's... If it's remotely in the same in the same ballpark of this, it's gonna be insane. And I'm, I can I cannot wait. I can, honestly cannot wait for what is going what we're going to get. But a a small thing that we got from Booster Road is that they showcased the new trailer for the trial deck. And if you're fast enough, you can see the new artwork for the new heal triggers that we're going to get for all three clans. We see the Pegasus. We see of course Uluru. We see the Fairy Dragon. But we can also see the glimpse of the brand new draw triggers that we're going to get. These are, again, the old draw triggers that we had in the old GR trial deck of Altno, Arsha and Chronojet. So we see, of course, for Gear Chronicle, Lucky Pot, Drago Kit. But that's basically all the extra information that we got. There are a lot of interesting things that are going to come from this. And I honestly cannot wait for what the next stage set has to offer for us because this is looking insane. And I'm not even a Royal Paladin player. And even I'm getting excited because this looks nuts. I mean, all your grade twos are turning into 20k units with 10k intercept that have boost, can intercept from the back row, have two criticals, and we can search them out from the deck, from the drop, wherever we want. And it's only going to get stronger from that point onward. Oh my God. So yeah. I'm definitely very excited about this. But, of course, I now want to know what you guys think of these new cards for Royal Paladin, Alt Mile. Are you excited about these new reveals with the return of Slayman and, of course, Felix, the old 8k Vanilla? Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about these card reveals. And also, if you're not a Royal Paladin player, but you are a Neo Nectar or Gear Chronicle player, how excited are you are for the potential of the future reveals that we're going to get in the next coming one to two weeks? Cause I'm thrilled right now. But that's where we're going to end the video as we have a lot more things to discuss and I'm going to go straight into the next videos. As always, this video has been brought to you by our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash Vanguard Insider. You guys are amazing. If you do want to support the channel or everything that's happening on the channel, then head over to patreon.com slash Vanguard Insider and become a patron today. But with that said, I'm Mr. Time Leap and I see you guys. In the next one!